Yeah, it was in about 40 years now when I visited my uh, country, my home country, Egypt, with my family to show them uh, the beautiful Egypt. And we uh, went to Luxor and Aswan where the real monuments and all the beauty of the ancient Egyptian culture. And we were, of course, very, very uh, enthusiastic about the ancient culture. But when we went to the north, where we start seeing the problem of the country, and then in Cairo, where I met all my old friends and ministers, and they started showing me the whole uh, miserable situation. Um, here, I think, it started. Because uh, flying back to Europe, I was saying, uh, it's good that I'm living in Europe, far away from all those unsolvable problems. But uh, my heart started to understand. And it took about two years to analyze all the situation of the country. And uh, the vision started to emerge. The mission, how can I contribute to the development of a human being, of society, and of the earth? This uh, sustainable development vision started after I got much to know about the country about the poverty and about the water scarcity, about the overpopulation. Uh, and so uh, the vision started and all ideas you created, they are asking for implementation. If that is a vision, the vision want to be implemented. If it is just a hallucination, where people are writing books about it, so it uh, stays in books and paper. So I saw me uh, coming in the desert and uh, facing all the problems in such developed country, how to get a piece of desert on a legal way and how to dig to get water and how to create a new culture in the desert, far away from all these social forms that are uh, very much existing in cities and villages. Uh, so how to create a new culture far away in the desert? Mm -hmm. So how it started? I think my heart started to understand. Uh, because the intellect, I think, would not have done that. But, uh, but how to um, set a model to participate in a sustainable development way, that was the start. Of course, I am inspired uh, from all the culture I got from ancient Egyptian, from Islamic culture, and of course, from the European culture. That was all the inspiration that raised the new personality which had the courage to start such initiative.
I think one of the reasons of the overpopulation is the nutrition. Of course, education, but also nutrition. If people are very weak, not feed it. Weak feed it means they eat much without content, without minerals, without vitamins, without the life power in the plant. They are weak. They grow well, they can marry and they can get children and all of that, but they are mentally weak. So how to feed people with a, a proper nutrition. That is one of the problems, of course. That's why uh, we do this biodynamic agriculture here, uh, because we are sure through this method, the life power in the plant is much, much uh, active than in this uh, traditional, conventional way. Uh, that is one. The second, of course, is the, the education of the culture. Even uh, how people understand the religion. Uh, that, is, uh, that is also a reason. But there is almost many reasons why something happened. So also the politics, the way people are governed, uh, that also, but, but mainly I see uh, the nutrition. Especially after the dam was built in 1960, 62, and it kept the real nutrition of the, of the soil, mm. the mud which comes from the volcanic uh, mountain from Ethiopia. And, the, and that was refreshing the soil with minerals every year. So minerals are very well needed for the, of course, for the, for the microorganism and to feed the plant with the proper uh, elements and plant needs all the elements, even gold. So I think that was also one of the reasons. Because if people, if not only people, if plants are weakly nurtured, uh, plant try to propagate itself very quickly to keep the gene. If you come to Egypt in the in winter time and you pass through the desert, you will see a lot of chamomile flowers and calendula uh, grow within six weeks. They, they prosper and blossom in six weeks and they build the seeds. And they left it in the soil for the next year. So this quickly propagation is coming from the very weak, I, I, I mean not more only weak, but uh, so where you wherever you see people are controlling their propagation, their population, you see them knowing how, what to eat, what to learn, or how they are governed. So overpopulation is a multifaceted problem. Of course, if people do not find uh, their food in their country, they immigrate. That is, that is not the first time. Uh, migration around the world 
happens also because people, because it was rainy in Egypt some million years ago, and people that was here very well populated and we have even forests. But when the rain stops, when we don't have enough green area to live, many of us uh, are living now in Europe, in the, in the States, in uh, Asia. So people are, of course, immigrating when there is no food. Uh, and that is also one of the reasons which also the European have to understand how they can help building the base for life, helping building the base of life, agriculture, in the poor countries like Eritrea and, and the Sahel zone. Uh, that keep the people living there and that keep them perhaps develop themselves. Uh, there is a lot of water, we have to, to have the proper technology to get it out of the, of the soil and to extract it also in the, the mouth. And that is something that the poor people don't know and they cannot do it. They are, uh, they are not educated enough and they are not skilled enough to do that. So a functioning ecosystem builds the base for food security? For life, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, the, the land, the agricultural land is a base of life. You can say merge. I, I see it as a sustainable development way. So we have to care for it, of course, not only for nutrition, but it, that is, there are communities like ours living in the earth, and we have to care for those communities, for the flora and for the fauna. Uh, once a human being understand the wisdom in the flora and in fauna, a human being respect the wisdom and start to care for it. So that is a way how people develop their consciousness. So it's very important to be in, in the nature and to care for it, to understand it. Even when people do not have the mental way to understand the wisdom, but the wisdom is even reflect itself. People living in nature, they are different than those in the cities. And, uh, and then we here, we took this wonderful organic products we planted to add value, to process it, and here, this adding value needs a lot of people to work, to learn, and that is uh, the part of the sustainable development idea, to give people work. Agriculture alone is not enough to help people develop their consciousness. So to care for the community through building an uh, economy, is uh, the second part, where we produce products, we distribute it, we market it, and at the end we have profit. Uh, and with this profit, we are also financing the cultural part, how we care for the uh, children, how we care for, also to educate them in schools, and universities, also how to care for their health, and also for research. Research, that means the development of new ideas, caring for the earth, producing or innovating new products. And then also 
need the prophet for the very important fourth part, for the polity, how all of those people can work together uh, to develop, not to be depressed, but how we, they can live in the organization where they have their human rights, they, have the, they feel the uh, gender equality and how they can feel they are brothers and sisters, whether they are from the same nation or from different nationality, from different uh, ethnic groups, from different uh, religion. This part of the polity of, uh, of the human rights is very, very important. And those four spheres uh, are coming to a harmonic way we try it here in second, that we care for the four spheres. Uh, and that is, perhaps we, you can see it is a mesh, but it is, it is an idea for itself, standard for development. As I hoped not to expand. <laughs> I hoped to disseminate the idea. I hope that people can grasp the idea of this harmonious life, the sustainable development, that they can do it much better in their areas. Uh, but we have to set models everywhere in the country. Uh, and I'm not very satisfied with setting models. I, it is enough one model. People can come, learn, and perhaps it is the reason also why university. To give young people the chance to develop themselves within the sustainable development idea, so that they, have, they can perhaps uh, initiate, generate new uh, areas of life. Soil is not only minerals. Soil is a very huge complex of, uh, of microorganisms, of humus, of organic matters. And the difference between dead soil and living soil is not only the number of all the microorganisms, the organic matters, and so on, but also how we allow cosmos to respond to the earth. That is the fertility. How the cosmos can coordinate the 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 living system. So the living system is not only in the soil, it is also in the whole cosmos. You can't separate it. Is, everything is interconnected and interlinked to each other. And when we build a living soil, we also we, we have a fertile soil, and that helps to build fertile mines. Look, everyone has a hobby. And, and my hobby is human being. And I love to work with pe people, and I love to see the development of human beings' consciousness. 
That is what makes me happy. Consciousnesses are, are creating the landscape. You can, in hand from landscape, see which consciousness is there. So, which spirit is working on the landscape. Yes, consciousness and landscape, they are very <laughs> related. Many of your colleagues asking me a question. What is, not the secret, what is the reason behind, uh, behind second? Because nowadays we are thousands and it cannot only me. Uh, so I partner with all my colleagues and friends and this hierarchic system uh, somebody see it but of course I'm partnering with everybody but the reason why we continue and the reason why we stop to live lies in the spiritual work we do we are working daily spiritual we care for the spirit. That is the reason why second flourish, prosper. Because there is, as you asked, what is the relation between consciousness and soil and landscape? There is no development on earth without development in spirit. Geist. So the spiritual work, the continuous, the infinite, is the reason of the development on the earth, of, of second. And so uh, that, is, that is the reason that, um, because if I, uh, if I travel for some hundred years uh, and leave second, the, there is a group of people who are working daily on a spiritual issues. Yeah, that when they stop, then when they, when they will be comfortable to say we achieved it, the process of development will stay. So it is, the development is a continuous development. It is not, a, a, it's a process. It is not a state. Mm -hmm.